Hi everyone. Let's look at a project from thumbs to rough to the critique and then the final, plus a couple of before and afters to show how to get better hierarchy by working with some of the elements. So here's one of my past students, Black Keys Project. Please notice the progression from the thumbnail to the rough. Obviously it's the same design. Unfortunately, both are missing the headline, so that's something that they're gonna need to address. I want to share with you some of the feedback that I gave the student for this project. The headline is up close and that needs to be added. With that in mind, let's think about the feeling when a rock hits your windshield. It's too close for comfort. The headline and the broken glass visual, those have a good connection with one another. In regards to the imagery, make the main shatter impact visual larger, probably around twice as large. Try slightly emphasizing the cracks going up the page. Make them a little more obvious. At the top of the page, try the guy larger. Really the only important part of his photo is the guitar and him singing. Move the crack on the bottom up to give the drummer more space. Make his photo a little bit larger. We really only need to see his head and some shoulders. Try different logo placements. Possibly make the logo larger. Possibly put up close next to the glass impact area so that the text meaning interacts with the visual of the broken glass. Those bright blue colors should be a little bit more muted. And we need to bring in grunge a little bit more. So there's a few comments that I wanted her to work with on this project. Her final is much better. So now let's check out the hierarchy. To do this, I'd like you to move away from your monitor and squint. Squinting your eyes to make things a little blurry and out of focus is a really great way to see what's happening in the design. What do you see first? I see the headline and logo first and then the photos. That's good. Next, we're going to look at what we call before and afters in this class. The before is the student's final design and the after is the same design reworked by myself or another instructor. The goal is to help you see how changes we make affect the design. You'll notice in my before after examples that I often go a little over the top and that's just to make my point really obvious. On the left is the student's final and on the right are my revisions. I did a couple of things. First, by changing the color of the headline and the size of the logo, I emphasized the headline as the main focal point, even more than it was. To help the imagery interact with the headline, I used the broken glass for the letter O. The quality of the bottom photo wasn't really great, so I switched it out. I like that the drummer is looking back into the composition, which helps bring the viewer's eyes back into the composition. We follow the direction he is looking, and that creates a circular flow in the composition. In fact, many of the visuals are pointing towards each other, which creates a circular flow that our eyes can follow. And finally, I have another version that I created to make some more points. I switched out the photos to show you how placing their faces up close in the broken glass gives the design a more intimate feel. And cropping into the eye area creates anxiety. It's a bit uncomfortable. And that works well with the mood of a rock and roll grunge flyer. What I really wanted to emphasize in this design though is color, because color has enormous influence in a composition. Warm colors move forward. Cool colors recede. This can help hierarchy. So in the design on the right, up close is of course seen first. That focal point is emphasized even further by the warm orange tone around the O because our eyes are drawn to the warm color. The location of the warm glow at the top of the O then leads our eyes to the warm orange logo and I purposefully place warm tones on the inside of their faces to keep the viewer looking at the center of the design. The design has unity through the use of color, texture, and font choices. In regards to type, notice how some text is much smaller. That information is important, however, it's not necessary to see it first. The contrast in size helps make the visuals interesting. So this is a lot of information I know and you won't remember everything immediately but it will sink in. Time and practice are key to building your understanding of design fundamentals. 